I, I was born Herbert Robinson, born in Kingston, Jamaica. I left Kingston uh, with my mom to come to visit my aunt and uncle here. And uh, during that visit, my mom took sick and she died. So my aunt and uncle became my parents. I was transplanted from Jamaica to um, the United States and in the soil of one of the most creative communities in New York. Um, a lot of the Harlem Renaissance artists lived in the area uh, and I was in that bed where um, creativity was running rampant. But my uncle bought me my first camera. I started to photograph, of course, family and, you know, just, uh, and a lot of uh, portraits. When I joined Kamunga, Herman, and, and he was the one that said that there's this um, great group, group of guys, you know, and I think he would, he would be perfect, you know. Uh, and then right after we met Lou, I, I met Lou, then um, it, everything happened uh, so fast. And the next thing, I was um, showing my prints to in a meeting. I'm sure I was extremely nervous, you know, and with the voting process, you know, I was uh, on edge about that. So anyway, and Roy was, you know, he was the, the director then. Roy gave me a lot of confidence and a lot of validation and to find myself and to be really comfortable. But I would say back then in the 60s, uh, very exciting time and just um, the, the sheer joy of the camaraderie, you know, shooting a ton of film <laughs> uh, and getting fantastic mentoring and support, you know. Lou, as well as, as uh, uh, Buford and myself, were the three of us are the epitome of jazz aficionados. I went down to the Vanguard by myself and um, basically snuck in to see see Miles. And then I see Miles starting to walk from the stage to the back. And as he's walking, I'm trailing behind, I'm, I'm, I'm stalking him basically. And Miles felt me behind him and Miles turned. And when he turned, it was perfect. Miles took his fist and he said, what the F are you? I only could do, get one shot, you know, and it clicked. I do remember, I went home and, um, and then I saw, when it came up, I said, oh my God, you yeah. know. And I, I did something similar with Bill Evans, you know. I have every single recording of Evans. Kamonga is very much like my second family. I was privileged to not only be a part, but just continue to uh, receive the gift in this life and uh, I feel in my next life. Um, that's why when I speak of the book, it was a dream fulfilled because before Lou died, Lou and I um, were talking about doing a book. But it was Tony Barboza's n nudge or push and suggestion, let's do a book now. And, and in addition, it was our 50th anniversary. I, I do know everyone's DNA, all of the Kamoan Game members' DNA, I, I do. And my, I'm an instrument in the group. It's not about me, not about power, position, and that's how Lou was also. <laughs> <laughs>